My name is Dr. James Adamo. Uh, I'm an MD and uh, I'm a fellow of the College of Chest Physicians. I am the uh, medical director of the pulmonary critical care program here at Genesis and I'm also medical director of the CCU. Well, lung cancer is a huge problem in the United States. It is the cause of death in about 140,000 Americans every year. And about one in 15 Americans can expect to get lung cancer in the course of their lifetime. Uh, unfortunately, uh, only about one in seven or less than one in seven Americans will be diagnosed in the earliest stage of lung cancer. So it's important that we push back that timeline so we diagnose people earlier and try to save lives. Unfortunately, um, most lung cancers are diagnosed at a later stage, not the earliest stage. And uh, that's because it's a rather silent disease in its earliest stages. It's very hidden inside the lungs and you don't have any symptoms. Um, you don't have necessarily any cough or bringing up blood or pain. And those symptoms come on later in the course of the disease. So unfortunately, the majority are diagnosed later and the prognosis isn't good. The five-year survival is about 19% for all lung cancers. So we already do bronchoscopy. Bronchoscopy has been around for many, many years, you know, dating back to the early 70s. And um, it's evolved. And so we've gotten better and better at navigating out to smaller nodules towards the periphery of the lung. Monarch is a real game changer in terms of uh, how well we can do that because we can navigate out further into the lung towards the periphery of the lung, the very edge of the lung and uh, get to smaller and smaller nodules down to about one centimeter, which is less than a half an inch. So the Monarch system, the Monarch platform, really is a, a robotic bronchoscopy system to get us out to where we need to be. It can navigate out to the nodule, and then we can use all the usual tools that we use right now to biopsy that specimen. That includes tiny little needles, hollow needles that can get into the tumor. It involves brushes um, and biopsy forceps, for example. The robotic bronchoscopy is controlled with a game type controller so that you are in a more relaxed position and allows you more precise control of the instrument. Any patient with a lung nodule or a lung mass um, that we want to diagnose, um, of course you have to screen them medically to make sure that they would tolerate the procedure, but most patients even with COPD and such diseases as that would tolerate this procedure. We do many patients with emphysema, for example. So uh, any patient with a lung nodule or mass that we want to make a diagnosis on, and actually more patients now because even smaller nodules can be approached with this system. All the physicians that will be doing this have quite a bit of experience with bronchoscopy. I've been doing bronchoscopy for over 30 years and have done advanced bronchoscopy as well. So it's an evolution. So all of us are skilled with bronchoscopy, and this is one further iteration of that same technology. Initially, uh, it will be myself, Dr. James Adamo, and Dr. Emily Bronner. Uh, we are going to be the first ones to use the technology here at Genesis Hospital in Zanesville. And my background is uh, I've been a pulmonologist in practice since 1989. I trained at the Cleveland Clinic, and uh, I've been doing standard bronchoscopy and advanced bronchoscopy for many years. Dr. Emily Bronner, one of the other physicians that will be initially doing this uh, procedure here at Genesis, is also a pulmonologist. She's board certified in pulmonary critical care medicine as well as internal medicine. And she uh, trained at the Ohio State University Medical Center in Columbus. The Monarch platform is a new technology. It's only been out for uh, you know, a few years and uh, we will be one of the first three in Ohio to have the technology.